Hello everyone, welcome to this responsive HTML5 team development from scratch tutorial series. And in this video, I will just introduce what we're going to be making in this series. So this page that you're looking at in my Chrome browser right now is just a simple blog design that I am preparing to use for my um, own personal website. It's not the LS web apps, it's actually my name, laminsane.com. So it's something that I've been experimenting with. So I just thought maybe I'd use the build process and do that for a tutorial series just to show how you how guys how to do a responsive web design from scratch. Okay, so this side here has some um, responsiveness to it. And if, as you can see, um, I'll just show you in a moment when I resize the browser, but basically it will be having responsiveness and it, it's going to be built with the CSS3 and we'll use a grid system which I developed um, from scratch. There's stuff like Twitter Bootstrap. It was inspired by that actually. I decided not to use that and instead went with a custom grid system that I created um, about last year. And I still keep maintaining it, but um, yeah, that's what we'll be using. And also the main components of this website is, as you can see, we have a really nice um, header here with just menus that when you hover over them, their colors change. And likewise for this logo here, which is just basic text. But um, I think that will do for now. And the way I designed the site is that it could be easily converted into a WordPress theme. And probably if I have time, I'll do that in the future. But for now, we'll just stick with the um, static HTML template. And on the sidebar here, you have some stuff that can be easily converted into WordPress sidebar widgets. And a WordPress um, theme for a blog as well. As you can see on the main content here, there is a list of blog posts and as you scroll down and um yeah that's what you have nice pictures and everything and on the bottom here we have some footer text here all rights reserved and previous and next for when you are navigating the different um pagination pages for the blog post and also we do have one more page so when i click on this continue um reading here there is a dedicated page for a single blog post it also has a sidebar but you can opt to take that out and you might have to do some small modification to your grid and so it takes the whole of the width of the page but um, i decided to just keep the sidebar for that as well and as you can see it's slightly different from the home page in that um, it doesn't have a list of blog posts it just has one blog post to show with the title and a lot more text underneath um, than the ex excerpt okay so i'll just show you the home page once again and i'll just resize just resize this page just to show you how the responsiveness behaves and just look at the navigation bar just when we reach a small size it will drop downwards as you can see nicely fit and the rest of the pages the blog post everything just comes into one big line and fills up that page and also just take note of the sidebar instead of just squishing when it reaches a certain amount um, width it just drops down below here and comes on its own line just underneath the list of blog posts and um, yeah that's what we're going to be building i hope you're excited because i am and um yeah that's it i'll see you in the next coming videos thanks for watching see you soon bye bye